Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on Redis and in-memory key value data store. Now over the past few videos we are talking about various data types of Redis and in that series today we are going to talk about hash. We have already talked about string, list and set. You can see previous videos of this series to understand more about it. I will talk about sorted set in the upcoming video. Now let's go ahead and understand what is hash. So Redis hash are mapping between string fields and string values. Now before we go ahead and understand more about Redis hashes, let's remember one thing. Redis is a key value store, which means that no matter whatever the data type you use, it will always have a key and value. Okay, so keys will be there in string, list, set, sorted set, as well as in hash data type. And it's the value that is being arranged in a totally different way. And we end up using different data types in Redis based on our own requirement based on the speed of accessing or storing a particular set of data. Okay. Now, before we go ahead and further explore the hash, let's understand the meaning of hash. This is the picture I have taken from Wikipedia, which defines the hash. So hashing can be considered as a mathematical function where you can combine things to generate same set of hash function or hash data. In this particular case, name is actually generating a hash of two digit, two digit hash when it is passing through a hash function. Okay, so this is what hashing is all about. Now hashes are being used inside Redis, inside Redis implementation explicitly. So you can think about Redis hash as a small Redis implementation in itself. Now let's go ahead and understand what a Redis hash is. Now, as I said that, you know, every data type, you have to create a key because Redis is a key value store. So with hashes also, you can create a key, but the value in itself will be a key value. Now, key value concept is not an unfamiliar concept. Dictionaries, JSON, everything can be considered as a key value store, which means that in the hash data type, we can store objects, right? You know, objects of employees, objects of students, and objects of state machines, and many other things. Because it has a name and value pair. So for example, a student name, age, section, year something like that similarly we can also store json in key value remember i am not saying that you take the json and dump into redis hash no you need to take individual fields of the json and mark it as key and value as value again there is a problem with nested json's you cannot have nested key value pair or nested hash inside hash if you have that, you need to make sure that you create your own logic to take it out or maybe put the same into a totally different key. Similarly, it can be a database row, for example, and you have a student database with name, again, age, address, and many other fields. You can have a row of record and you can create name, age, address. So in a nutshell, if you want to understand a Redis hash, Consider a MySQL table with multiple records. So each record or each row of record could be one hash associated with keys. So first record will be key one and the record. Second record will be key two and the record. And Redis takes care of arranging it where it is very easy to search or retrieve the data. Now you will say, what is the benefit of this? Anyway, Redis is a key value store. I can have multiple keys, separate key as one, two. Anyway, with hash also, I'm having a separate key. The benefit of hash is that you can create a hash for an object which has multiple keys and you can get all the key at once. Now, if you want to benchmark Redis with creating multiple lists or multiple strings and getting each one of them one by one or creating a Redis hash, which has a group of keys and get them at once. This is faster. Okay. And also this gives a totally separate identity to an object. 
you can change a particular field of this particular object okay now you remember there is a difference between last slide and this slide in the last slide i have written it as key value okay but since redis itself is a key value store and to make sure that things are not confusing inside the hash we call it as field value so earlier i said it as key value in the terms of redis it is considered as field and value and both are supposed to be strings okay so now it's the time to go ahead and see how we can use commands to create a hash and get data as well as store data in the redis hash again before going ahead remember redis is a key value store no matter which data type you use you will have to create a key and values will be of different type where different data types may be useful okay so let's go ahead and explore the redis hash command first and foremost the important thing is s set where you create a key value pair the value will be hash field value pairs okay h get all it's for getting all the keys and values from the redis hash and h get it's for getting single field and its value from the redis hash again the complexity of set and get all is o n because you know it involve multiple elements but h get is constant time complexity so let's go ahead and see it in action so i will be using redis cli to connect to redis server which is running on my system and it has no keys as of now okay so let's go ahead and say h set okay the key should be like let's say learn okay field value pairs so field will be let's say name abc age uh, let's say 27 and prof profession let's say engineer okay integer 3 means uh, this hash contains three field value pairs which is been successfully inserted and if i want to get all the field and their value pairs i will say h get all learn you will get name abc is 27 profession engineer now to do the same thing there is another command called hm set m for multiple but that is being deprecated with the latest version of redis i do not remember the exact version where it was deprecated okay now let's explore another command call h get as i told h get is mean for getting one individual element so we can say let me clear it we will say h get learn a uh, name abc h get h 27 now there is one more command which is equivalent to h get called h set it was not mentioned in the slide which i was showing earlier but h set does things similar to h get it sets the value or you can say update the value of a particular field it is also a constant time complexity so let's see if i want to increment the age i can say h set learn age let's say 37 now okay and if we go ahead and get the learn it is 37 now okay and if i say h get all you will see age as 37 so these are the set of commands you will end up using if you want to use hash okay now let's go ahead and see other commands now other set of commands are h exist as the name suggest it checks whether a particular field is present or not not the value field again constant time len is number of fields hm get is that get the value of multiple fields that is o n okay so let's go ahead and see each one of them so we are in our shell now and let's again talk about the same hash we have created called learn let's check the existence of a particular field so we will say it exists and learn is the key field is the name one means this field exists now let's check about a field which is non existent let's call it name one it will say zero which means this field does not exist similarly for age it will say one okay now let's talk about len it will be useful many a times where you can know in advance how many fields are there so let me clear it and i'll say hlen learn 
it is showing three which means there are three fields okay now the last command which we would like to see over here is that h m get m for multiple which means that we will get multiple fields values from the key key is learn field will be name and age it says abc and 37 so these are the commands which you will end up using most of the time so that's all about redis hashes i hope i was able to explain you the usage and purpose of redis hashes thanks a lot people thanks for watching till the next time we meet good day goodbye take care